the main challenge for European institutions will be how we deal with history. It can be a burden, it can be an advantage. So this is the start here of the Eurovision Lab of Monochrome and we are very happy that we could do it with our cooperation partner, the Paraflops Festival. It's the festival for digital arts and culture. Paraflops aims at critical topics, uh, addressing important issues for society in general, cultural fields in specifics. The topic of the show here is digital migration and we wanted to make a show about the transition between things, events, personal experiences and of course social and political and geographical matters. Our goal was to apply the action of migration to museums as well. We are not really glad that migration at the moment is a really hot topic here in Europe. Uh, but at this topic we can see that uh, social media plays an important role and that so we can reach, not over social media alone, but uh, with this topic we can reach a lot of younger audiences. We do uh, put all the, all the things we talked about the last years in the IMI project here into practice. We try uh, to put all the museum ideas also out of the exhibition rooms, out of the museum. So we have performances in pubs, we have the symposium, we have the concerts. So we try to reach different audiences. We have audio guides implemented. You can access with your mobile phone um, comments of the artists of their works, like surplus of information. We kind of produce the toolkit that shows smaller museums what they can actually do to get more interactive, to get more participative and the like. When thinking about the future of museums, um, I think everything will become a little bit more personalized and individualized. Part of the strategy will be we take the item and we put it in a completely different context, maybe in a digital context, and we use a lot of uh, media mixes. So people can actually decide what to do with it. This is a, a way we can approach objects that are stored in museums, that are stored in archives, and we can make them more vivid, more lively. We can approach them on a very active level. And I think for institutions it would be a wise step within the next years to find the idea of a choreography, of a balance between concepts that appeal to a general public, even a younger one, and on the other hand keep the contemplative traditional style intact.